Hey, um, Mad Dog Sir, I am sorry to interrupt you, but I, I just want to take a second of your time to ask you how you're feeling about, like, this match. I want to ask a few questions, if that's alright. It's fine. Make it quick. I need to try. Because, well, I don't really need to train, but, you know, I need to make some phone calls. Okay. So, Skullcrusher said that he is ready and he will go through anyone and do anything. He made a quick message just declaring that he will take that precious championship of yours. Are you in any way scared of him? Listen, L listen here, I don't know your name, but I, I don't care. When have I ever been afraid of a challenge, huh? I mean, I put myself in danger, I've defeated the god that is Ribby by well, taking away his Intercontinental Championship. I defended it against Maniac in a put through a car match. And now I've got my second total defence. Again. Skull Crusher. Now, okay. I'll, I'll admit, I'll give my respects out to him, because you know, he became the first ever EWE Tag Team Champions, and um, like, he's been having tough battles with Might and Supergroup, and um, well, who else? Oh yeah, whoever, it doesn't really fucking matter, I'm not really bothered by it, but yeah, obviously he's been fighting some tough battles with Jack, I think his name is. Never heard of him, honestly. On his back and everything. But let's see what he can do alone in the ring. Other than with his little buddy on his side. Okay, another question I've wanted to ask you. Why have you chosen an, an extreme rules match? Is there anything behind it? Or do you just want to inflict pain on him to send a message? Well, truth is, I don't want to just inflict pain. It's my territory. It's where I'm safe and I know what I'm doing. People don't understand. Extreme Rules matches isn't just going with a chair, attack him, put him for a table, one, two, three. No. You need to be strategic about it. If you just come in with a chair, people are going to see what you're doing. If you don't have a plan B, C, or D, then it's over for you. Because what if someone takes that chair and makes a torture for that for you, putting it, stacking it on like a table or a ladder or on a table on a ladder, huh? You need to be creative and you need to be smart. Because unlike most people on this roster, I know exactly what I'm doing in Extreme Rules matches. I'm not just going to be some lunatic running around with tables, putting them on fire. I know exactly what I need to do from the beginning of the match to the end. I know exactly what they're going to do if they're bringing out a ladder or a table or a chair. I know exactly what I need to do to counter it. If someone, if I'm on the outside and I've got a chair or something in my hand and someone dives out at me, I know exactly what to do there as well. I'm the smartest man in the game. And Justin Ford, I, I'm sorry, but you may be the man with the plan, but I'm sorry, you don't have a plan for me, do you? Okay, um, I just want to ask you one more question. 
Um, is there anyone who you would like you to face in the future? Well, I mean, I'll face anyone, any time, any day. But the thing is, obviously, you need to deserve a shot at my championship. But one person who I'd love to fight, honestly, I just mentioned his name, Justin Ford. The fans think it's going to be a dream match, and, well, I honestly do too. I mean, it'll be great to get in the ring with him, and, well, I'm going to come out victorious like I always do. Oh, yeah, no, about that. I've just got one more additional question, if it's okay. Yeah, it's fine, but this last one, or else. Okay, so what do you feel like having this streak balance on your shoulders as you have to defend the championship now? Seriously. I've been a winner in FWE and EWE since day one. I haven't lost a match. I haven't been pinned. I haven't been submitted. I haven't been knocked out. I haven't been anything. I've had multiple matches and no one's been able to put me down. No one's been a true challenge for me. And that's going to keep on going until the end of time. No one is going to get one over on me. And when they do, I get three over on them. Enough with stupid questions. I need to get ready now. Waste of my time. Okay. And here we go. Uh, tag team matchup. It's not much to say starting with this uh, match. Considering it'll be unfair on Nate anyway. If he goes on to face Tyler. Like straight after or something. So, tag team match straight off. Crash ups, the gods. They used to win the tag tournament. They didn't have a, the best return they expected, but well, they're here now. PJ Styles saying, come on, we're going to take the tag titles. They don't really have a good, well, beginning either. It's a bit of a crappy start. But, I mean, they're here now. So, I guess... Well, I guess we'll just have to see what happens. Head in a cell. I asked the real Knight and Supergroup. And, well, Knight decided on the head in a cell match. And, well, this is where the gods are fighting off. And, speaking of which... Oh, here they come. The gods, will they bring out the judgment hammers? Nobody knows. Probably. EWE defense all titles, just one night. And here's the gods. With the punishment hammers. Supergroup with a nice new attire, I'm not going to lie. Maybe Knight should do something to match up with that. Maybe turn that blue stuff uh, white and turn his um, top white. Where it's all red and stuff. Either way, the gods, tag team champions, beat the first ever tag team for them. The, the reunion for the tag team championships, like, like I said. With that beautiful red lighting in the background. I don't know if you can see that, but just look in the background. And the nice red combo going down the ring. Showing that. They're the gods and they're the only people worthy of being the tag champs. But I mean, well, they've lost to, um, they, they've lost to the reunion at least two times, I'd say. So, I mean, if they, they, they can't get too cocky, this is their first title defence, so they can't get too cocky in it. Well, I mean, they can get as cocky as they like, but it may not bring them anywhere. Alright, it's taking forever to get, like, ready, so... We're gonna skip the cutscene. There's the tag championships. Here we go, this match begins! Oh, wow. Adrian's already on the outside, PJ Styles attacking Knight in the ring. And I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what Supergroup just did, but... It didn't look nice on Adrian's behalf. Um... <laughs> PJ Styles going to the top turnbuckle already. Adrian just following Supergroup. 
back or into the seal, steel cell. And, they, and suit her just walking off. And look at PJ Styles in the ring and a big knee by Super. Oh, bit of an oversell there. Wait a minute. Taking the tag apart at all. Look at Adrian just not even helping. Staying on the outside. That's a bit screwed on Adrian's part. Uh, half. Half. Wait, no. Oh, straight onto the LED. And I understand this match. Maybe my commentary is, commentary is not going to be that good like it ever is. But. Actually, no, I'm, I'm, I was told sometimes that I'm a decent commentator, but either way, just to note that it won't be as good as it normally is, just to say that. Adrian throwing Supergroup into the Hell in a Cell, and not even a one count on that pin attempt on PJ Styles, and Super's gone already through the Hell in a Cell wall. Super doesn't know what to do getting back out of side of the ring. And now he's climbing. And our uh, uh, our backup YouTube commentator is getting a uh, special view of this on top of the cage and in the ring. A night with a beautiful insecurity. Wait a minute, Adrian! No, don't do this. Not this. Not this early on. No! Power bomb through both tables. What? And I believe he landed on his neck. The spare announcement table is gone. The real announcement table has just disappeared. And Supergroup's stunned. Look, he's only just got recovered and he's, well, wobbling back inside of the ring. Just trying to take a break. Taunting at Adrian. Oh, big chop straight to the throat. Both in the ring now, Adrian from off the ropes. Superman clothesline. I think Super's done for. Uh oh. And breaks that submission up. Performed by Knight and a suplex center of the ring. And punches Super straight into the cell wall again. Adrian. Taking no prisoners here tonight, especially for Super. Oh my god! And strikes him into the cell. Look at PJ Styles and then knee lifts. And now Adrian getting Super up. PJ Styles dominating on the inside and takes a soul kick low. And now Adrian. Oh, no, not Adrian. Supergroup needs to be careful of Adrian because he just went through the cell wall again. How unlucky do you have to be when your tag partner chooses the match, yet you go through two announcement tables at the very beginning and also with one move and also two cell walls? How unlucky do you have to be? And if you think about it, well, Super kind of assisted the two cell walls by being in that position. Shining Wizard I just saw in the ring. One, two. Kick out. Sorry, I just needed to pause this here. Where's recording? And Super going back down. He might be. He's scared of Adrian. And a pedigree. Hooks the leg. One. Wait a minute. The ref's saying night to night that he's not going to count it. And wait a minute, a one that you need to PJ Styles. And a break up by Adrian. Why did the ref not count the count? And a big close iron. Supergroup thrown off by Adrian for making the count. I think that's what he went to do. And the ref again telling off Supergroup saying, let PJ Styles go. Oh, Adrian just missed the Superman punch. Oh God, what happened to Super there? Superman punch to um, Super. Wait a minute, setting up. Setting up. And Adrian, big punch tonight. Oh, not I. What is. What? What? Adrian just stopped. Wait a minute, sleeper. Or the uh, night. Breaks it up. Wait a minute, Super. One that you need, no bulldog. One that you need tonight. Talk about mockery. Spear, spear to super hooks the leg. One, two, 
Three! What? Are you kidding me? No way have we just seen new tag champs. I do not. I do not believe this. There's no way I'm looking at this right. Crash Ops are the new tag champions. I. Uh, am I dreaming? Oh gosh. Oh. I, I think I'm dreaming. Crash Ops celebrating center of the ring. Wait a minute. I think. I think Knight, Knight isn't happy. Knight is not happy at the stage. Oh, God. What's he saying? And in fact, he's not even saying anything. He's he's just giving Supergroup a, a death stare or something. Here's another view of it now. It looks like they're just talking about something. Knight, he's like... Wait a minute, Supergroup just said something. Oh, my... Knight with a spinning forearm to Supergroup. This is the end of the gods of uh, EWA suplex center at the stage. Leg drop. Oh, my God. I don't think he caught all of it. I knew something was about to break down. Enziguri. It looks like Knight was shouting about something. So it's something like, you lost the tag titles to us. Or something like that. And I'm just stomping on the leg of Supergroup. Knight, this is a very dangerous move. You have a match against Tyler uh, soon. Well, in the main event. And now he's going to do this. Look at him just stomping on the legs of Super. Getting him up. And oh, no, no, no. Oh, and I, oh I'm not even going to ask. Just going to guess body slam. What is that? What is a truck doing here? Super getting lifted up. Grab by that, like... Well, no. Grab by the neck. Into the truck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Knight looking for a powerbomb. No. Powerbomb onto the wheel of the truck. And he's shouting something at Super. We can't pick it up. But he's shouting something. And a big knee into the window of the truck. Or, well, I guess, whatever that is. Might go backstage now. And, well, I guess we're getting into the next match while Supergroup leaves. Oh, my night leaving the arena in, well, annoyance that they lost the tag titles and betraying Supergroup. Right. Let's get into, well, it's all. I think it's going to be Tank vs. Jay the Key. Wait a minute, backstage! No! Jay the Key here with a chair! This is a soul. Who is this? Who is this guy? Someone. Now, this. Who is this guy? Wait a minute, is that Ace? He has Ace or Austin's hair. I believe this is Ace or Austin. This is definitely the work of one of them. Look at their hair. That is the exact same as their hair. Why are they doing this to Jay the Key of all people, though? And now taking the head of Jay the Key. What is he doing? Oh, no, 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 no. What is this? Oh, twisting power slam? I'm going to guess power slam. But someone, how is this man even in? We've got security all over the building. Someone get in that locker room and take him out. And maybe even I'm asked him so we can see who it is. Then a big kick right into the bin. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, straight to the nuts of Jay the Key. Wait a minute. Austin running into the locker room. So I guess it's like Ace then. Because how could Austin be fighting Austin? You see what I mean? Though? They have the exact same hairstyle. What is this? What the hell? Oh! Austin attempted to make a save, but it didn't go well. Has he got bullets? 
Look at that like little vest thing he's got. Austin tries to punch, catches the chair and just gets kicked to the head. Oh, it's been set up. No, no, no. Oh, across the back. Look at this man go. Who is he? Can someone get an answer? We want to know how this man got in from a max security and also why is he here and who is he? Austin defenseless. Oh no, no. Oh my god. What? Literally just threw him in the air and caught him with a cutter through the table. Now this man leading him over. No, and again, but this time, kind of, oh god, what's wrong with the bin? And a big boot. Oh, crap. No, no, no. Oh, straight into the locker. Straight into, like, a box as well. Someone may have had something fragile in there. The more people get out of here, because Austin's kind of being destroyed. Mostly because there's nothing to jump off of, but still... Oh, and now, oh no, what's he doing? No, for a man like Austin, this could break his back and end his career. Did he just break the locker? I'll tell you who I am later. I hacked into all the communications and everything. I know what everyone's saying when security's coming, how good the security is, and all of the security is wiped out. If you want to know who I am, then I recommend you listen to what I say and what I want. First, I'm going to come out into the ring right now. The, everything will go dark, but don't worry. I'm just going to walk my way to the ring, and then I want two people, I don't care who they are, to fight me in a handicap match. And well, it, when I win, not when I lose, I'll reveal... Well, I'll take off the mask. And just to let everyone know, my name is Biker. Don't forget it. Put it in your thick ass heads. And then when I win the when I win the match, I'm gonna go on to the next part priority. Destroying EWE. And I've got a crew behind me who's wanting to do the same thing. So if you want to join me then please, let me know backstage. I won't make it effortless. Well, I won't make effort needed. But, you're going to have to do a few things for me. I've only got two other people. But then two other people will do. In a, in a circumstance that we are trying to do. Now, I recommend two of you people better have teamed up or get sent because I'm going nowhere when I'm in that ring in fact I might tie myself up to the ring with the ropes hmm so many so many things to do to lure people out well until I get my match then I ain't leaving and you can't continue on with this show here we go this match begins fans uh, for some reason chanting this is awesome, I'm not sure why. Oh, Demon Hunter! Looks like the Demon Hunter and the, uh, tank have teamed up. To try and take this guy, oh, wait a minute, what? He just body slammed the tank, what the hell's going on? How the hell, oh, what the, drop kick! What in the world? Oh, and takes out the knee. Good strategy by this man, whoever he is. He's got a good strategy taking out the legs of big people. Oh, my God. And he's not even in proper wrestling gear. He's literally on a oh, stomp to the uh, stomach. And then just taunting at Demon Hunter. Well, no one saw this coming. That's for sure. Oh, my God. Just lifting him by the arm. Looks for a boot. Wait a minute. Belly to belly by the tank. And this man. He said his name was Biker. I don't know who he is. But my suspicion is Ace because of the haircut. 
but I don't, oh my god, but I don't think it is Ace. Why well, would he attack his own father? Unless he's that fucked. Oh my. Unless he's that fucked about the loss against Thunderbolt. Oh, wait a minute, what is this? Blackout Meteora. And just look in one of, the, one of the fans in the eyes and hooks the leg. One, two, three. And the tank only just recovers. And look at the tank, he ain't having any of that. Very pissed. And he's saying that he don't care about anyone. Yeah, no, look at that haircut. That is the same as Ace's. And nobody's talking me out of that. That is Ace. I'm sorry. Look, that is Ace. Wait a minute. He might be wearing contact lenses. But that is Ace. There's no doubt about it. Anyway, on to the next match, I guess, if this guy's going to leave. Oh, girl, what's happening here? The man just unmasked and took off his jacket, and Thunderbolt's here for some reason. Oh, God. Oh, no, he just threw in a chair. Oh, no, don't do this. Demon Hunter's already out. The ref, oh, 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 no. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Slamming Demon Hunter with the chair and Thunderbolt cheering him on. I know I didn't get the shot in everything. But please, GM, you've got to listen to me. I want a shot at Tyler's title more than anyone else here. I will go through anything and anyone to get my way to what I deserve. So please, sort out something for me. And if you want to do something really good, well... I want to shot at it at this main event coming up. Listen, I know it sounds insane because everything's already booked, but just put me in a triple threat match, yeah? I mean, Tyler won't mind. He's fearless and everything. I'll beat him any day of the week. But, like, still, I want a triple threat match. Night, me, Tyler, think of, think about all the fans as well, man. Think about everyone. Three of the best athletes in EWE and FWE or whatever. Sure, I haven't been here for very long. But I've made my mark in MBW. And if you ask me, I haven't been given a chance to make my mark in EWE. I know I've had, like, like what... A few matches. I got to the finals of that tournament. I got beaten by fucking Skullcrusher, but still, I just want to request that match to happen. Please make it happen. Now, listen. I'm gonna say this once. You keep on trying to pester me for it, then I'll change my mind and I'm gonna beat your ass. But, fine. You're not coming in. This is what I just decided. You're not going into the main event. It's going to be Knight, Tyler, Falls Count Anywhere, just like Tyler said. However, next EWE, we're going to have a gauntlet match. Um, we're going to have a gauntlet match. And we'll, whoever wins that will get a shot. At the next pay-per-view for the EWE World Championship. And this is the thing. You can only, you especially, can only go in it if you don't interfere in their match any shape, way or form. And also, you have to be the first person out there. Do we have a deal, Ford? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Because you know, like I know... <laughs> I can beat every single person on this roster. No matter who it is, no matter what they've done, I can do it. Because I am the man with the plan. Okay, that's good to know and everything. But, just excuse me, I've got other business to attend to. Right now, we're going to see the legendary championship be defended... 
against Triple H, White Assassin versus Triple H, a match that we did not know that we wanted to see, but I mean, we have it now. And then there is that Cheeto belt, as we like to call it. White Assassin's quote unquote custom EWE legendary belt. And he is the first person to make it, and he said that it was a custom and it isn't like the proper one. But it might as well be the proper one because he's going to be quote unquote champion forever. And look at him taunting with it. Anyway, this pay per view is sponsored by Dragon Ball K and Dragon Ball C. Watch Dragon Ball K on Knight's channel, Dragon Ball C on my channel. So, White Assassin ready to face off against Triple H. I don't know where that actually came from. I didn't even know that was happening, but apparently White Assassin wants to face Triple H now. It's weird. He doesn't even care about the title, though. He just dumped it in the ring. White Assassin lifting up the title, shoving off his muscles. Hold on a second. He wants to say something. <laughs> Did you really think that I was going to face someone like Triple H, that weakling? No. The legendary title will be defended when anyone through anyone versus anyone who I want. Just because I'm assigned to defend the championship here, don't mean I want to. That wasn't even the real Triple H. It was just a man who I found who looked exactly like him. An actor, you would say. This whole damn thing all the other wrestling shows are real but no are fake but when i fight it's for real i don't know anyone else on the ewe roster but i'm pretty sure the fights here are real as well <laughs> You all got so excited to see me defend my championship here tonight, didn't you? Oh. Well, I'm sorry. But unless someone steps out of that locker room in the next few seconds, I'm leaving here and it will count as a win and I don't care because it's my championship. <laughs> Who the hell are you supposed to be, kid? Um, I think someone's done a little bit too much face paint on you. This isn't face paint. White Assassin, you, when you faced me for the Legendary Championship, you brought out something that I didn't expect. You almost pushed me to Blue Beast, and in fact, backstage I turned Blue Beast. Now, you've pushed me to Genocide. And there's no turning back. I accept your challenge. And now, your life is in my hands. Genocide Hayden thing! Wait a minute! Last shot! What the hell? Let's go. I want to put you through torture before I finally put you down and then your career. Oh, oh, where the hell am I? White assassin, get up. You need to fight. Come on. Fight you over that easily. Now tell me, white assassin, what are you scared of? Huh? You Hayden, come out. I know you're there somewhere. I'm not scared just because you put on a few bits of extra face paint other than your normal blue beast mode. Oh no, 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 white assassin. Instead of trying to find me, you should try to survive. This is why the TGM show was cancelled, White Assassin. 
this was why FWE was cancelled. You thought you was the bigger man in every shape, way or form. Where did that bring you? Over to me. Where just one victory, one fluke of a victory, would lead you to a hail of doom. Where are we now, assassin? Care to explain for little old me? You are one stupid man, assassin. <laughs> Where are you going? We haven't even begun yet. Well, this is Abyss's place. You can tell how beautiful it is. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You can tell just by looking at it that it was Abyss's before he died an unfortunate death. It doesn't matter. It's mine now. It could have always been mine, but now it is mine. I hope you enjoy your new facial features. They really lighten the mood on you. Oh well, time to put an end to your suffering. One, two, three. What in the world did we just see? For sure we see a new EWE Legendary Champion, but what in the world was that by the wall? That by the wolf. What the hell? Can someone please explain to me what we just discovered with our eyes for like the five minute thing that we just saw witnessed the five minute murder we just witnessed what was it i guess we've got to get back into the next match but what in the world Oh man, Ugh. what the hell happened to you? I, I don't know. I don't know what that was. I don't, I don't, I don't think I want to know what that was. Is it? Uh, I, what do you want? Oh well, before I saw that, um, I was gonna ask you that. Well. As me and you are probably the most dominant force ever known to man in this company. In fact, this whole wrestling world, I guess, worldwide, in world, worldwide wrestling. Um, I don't know who you are, honestly. Um, you seem like a fan because you're stuttering. You, yeah, fan, you have. Listen, I have no need to talk right now. Oh, I just feel fucked up and I need to leave. So please, just, if you're a fan, I don't care if you're backstage. Just please, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Are you a fan? No. No, no, I'm not a fan. I'm just stuttering because of your fucking face. But no, I'm not a fan. Don't worry. And you do look pretty fucked. So we'll talk next time on EWE. Okay. Now let me get you back to your car because I don't even think you can see anything in that.
I'm almost at the main event. Who is the 24-7 champion? What I don't find fair is that Skullcrusher doesn't have to put the 24-7 championship on the line tonight. But every other title is on the line. So, I mean... Well, to be fair, I guess the 24-7 championship was uh, missing. And Skullcrusher must have found it. Uh, Skullcrusher, I think, lost the 24-7 championship. Like, didn't lose it by pinfall. He didn't literally just lost it. It was stolen. And then he must have found it in the locker room somewhere. Either way, no one's going to be running in on him. Because, well, this is an Intercontinental Championship match against the unbeaten Mad Dog. And, well, in the reunion attire tonight. He, he got pinned by Adrian in the tag team qualifiers, so the reunion would not make it into the tag team match. And also, he's got Jack on his trail. And the Wolf says that he's not going to let him get in the way of this match. And we're going to have the exact same entrance, because for some reason, these two don't have championship entrances. Anyway, Mad Dog, the Intercontinental Champion marching to the ring with the Intercontinental Championship remember Mad Dog has ne Mad Dog has never been defeated in well his whole career FWE EWE either way never lost at all no matter the circumstances In the ring. Um, will he lose tonight? It is certain he might. But I mean, if Skullcrusher can do some like damage, like putting him through a cut, well, avoid well that car match with Mad Dog and Maniac. If he can do as much damage as it took out with Maniac, who I believe now is injured, uh, we haven't got complete medical insurance on it. Well assurance on it but they're saying that he's most likely injured oh hey this is fun to, as these two warm up get introduced to the live crowd i just want to say what you're watching on right now is sponsored by dragon ball c and dragon ball k which both i think are currently on a hiatus unless knight has uploaded a new one beforehand and sorry this pay-per-view has been taking so long to get out and Mad Dog lifting the Intercontinental Championship and going back down. No DQ match. Mad Dog chose this. His own territory, I guess you could say. Skullcrush understands everything that he fought for up to this point. He said that um, he will go through anything and anyone to get a shot at the Intercontinental Championship. And here we go, this match. The bell goes. These two locking eyes. Wait a minute, an atomic drop straight away. And a drop kick. The atomic drop straight away from Skullcrusher. His like, go-to move when he needs to break up possession. And a splash by Skullcrusher. Getting Mad Dog up. Beginning this match straight out of the gate with great possession by Skullcrusher. And the shoulder into the turnbuckle. Wait a minute, what is he looking for? Powerbomb! Skullcrusher not playing around uh, against Mad Dog. Oh, looks for a drop kick, it hits. And a swanton onto the leg. I'm pretty sure that was on the leg. And now into the corner. Mad Dog gets, well, shoulder barged into the corner. Super kick! And wait a minute, Skullcrush is not done off the rope again. Super kick! And now one more time, perhaps. Super kick! And Skullcrush is saying, come on. I thought this would be more of a challenge. And he's going to the top. What could he possibly be looking for here? Oh my god, a, cr a crook screw, I think that was. 
it was definitely impressive and I'll splash again sorry the video clip just ended randomly I'm not sure what happened there and I'm oh a double leg drop straight to the nuts well a leg drop should I just say straight to the nuts mad dog may be stunned I don't think he's got a single bit of possession in this match uh oh I think he's done playing around charging up the clothesline oh straight into the turnbuckle and now outside the ring mad dog looking for something he's got a ladder the ladder in play skull crusher from over the top rope did you see mad dog he just no sold it uh oh lifted up oh and a gut buster Mad Dog just no selling the damn uh, shot there by Skull Crusher and just tossing him around like he's nothing. No, suplex straight on the metal. Oh my, this is what happens when Mad Dog is in his full stage of things. Legs hit the ladder. You can see Skull Crusher now feeling the back of his legs. That was not a nice fall. And oh, no, no, no. oh, the wrist of Skull Crusher hitting the ladder now. Mad Dog using that ladder to his advantage. The back hits it, or it may have been the knee. Either way, it's still going to hurt a lot. Drop kick straight into the apron. And Mad Dog saying that he's going to end it. Picking up Skull Crusher, who's lost all the possession so far in this match. Well, he started off with great possession, but now we, I think he's just got too overconfident and just lost it. A soul kick and an elbow drop. And outside the ring, Mad Dog, again, looking under, sees nothing. Again, looking under, and he sees nothing. Oh, realises that, yes, he did in fact put a ladder out. Wait a minute, Skull Crusher reversal. And bang, getting back into this, trying to at least. There's only one ladder, but remember, it is Extreme Rules and a Jawbreaker. And see, that also took a bit out of Skull Crusher as well. Skull Crusher getting him up and a Russian leg sweep. Skull Crusher not giving in to Mad Dog right in here, right now, in defense. And now charging up for his three super kicks. One, two, and three. And the legs on the ladder. Skull Crusher sees it. No! Foot DDT on the ladder. Oh my god. No, 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 grabbing it again. What happened to the ladder? And just extra impact to that foot. Must be badly hurt, especially the toe now. Wait a minute. Leg drop to... Oh, the low blow. Dirty moves. But, I mean, if it gets the job done, it gets the job done. Talking of getting the job done. Uh-oh. He looked to get the job done, but felt quite short. And now Mad Dog sizing him up. Throws him into the turnbuckle oh, and a belly to belly. Skull Crusher goes flying. And uh oh. Mad Dog stalking. Here we go. Spit right knee, 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 knee. Picks back up. Wait a minute, elevator voice grip. Signature move. Signature move or Skull Crusher. Can they? Mad Dog. Oh, an eye rake to get out. Wait a minute. The shoulders are down. One. Kick out Skull Crusher at one. Oh, looks for a clothesline. Misses it. Oh, big punch. Another one. Mad Dog saying, bring it on. And uh oh, wait a minute, no, oh, onto the ladder, and now, throws Mad Dog into, 
Skullcrusher setting it up for the second time. Natural selection goes wrong. Clothesline. Mad Dog stalking, saying he's going to end it now. Don't turn around. Oh, big clothesline. Skullcrusher turned around. And it was too late. Stunner signature move. Oh, no. I think it's over for Skullcrusher. Yeah, no, it definitely is. Spinny. He's been cut in half. One, two, three. Mad Dog retains the Intercontinental Championship in, well, I must say, quite quick fashion. Great heart and determination by Skullcrusher, but Mad Dog ends up getting the W. Holding the Intercontinental Championship, pointing at the crowd, saying, I am your deserved champion. He took a lot of offence in that match. And, well, I must say, I agree that he should still be on top. Main event time for EWE Defence. Night Tyler, EWE World Championship. Knight coming out with the Tag Team Championships, which he lost. And, well, he betrayed Supergroup by attacking him. Um, well, I don't know why he's just flexing, saying that he was DWE Tag Team Championship Champions, even. I guess, anyway. And anyway, walking up to the ring. The Knight Tyler EWE World Championship match. Knight, well, the probably the biggest man in FWE, one of them anyway, uh, becoming world champion at least like two or three times, and in some intense rivalries. Tyler, been a great champion so far. Can he beat Knight? Well, I guess we'll just have to find out. In a few seconds in this false count anywhere match. And I don't I don't know if uh, there's gonna be any music for this pay-per-view, there might be for some matches and stuff. But well, obviously you had already known. Look at the stage glow up, Titron and stuff. That looks awesome. And here comes Tyler. The purple and red smoke fills the air, fills the stage, fills the arena. And there he is, emerging from it all the CCW champion and EWE champion it looks like he's came out of the CCW championship just to show what he's done just to flex on everyone And now he will he just like crawling. Just to flex it. He is the first EWE champion and CCW champion. And I believe. Okay, never mind. Just making sure. You know, being cautious. And now just crawling. To the steps, striking fear into Knight's heart. Is it gonna work? Well, I guess we'll see soon. Crawling up the stairs. Knight looks, well, not scared, but he looks cautious about something. 
Tyler said that he'll fight for the fans in the last bit of you in the live chat. He says that, well, a lot of fans are behind him, I should say that. And obviously he's got issues with Justin Ford and stuff. Who, well, says that he wants to be in this match, but the uh, GM said no. And that he needs to, uh, well, well, he needs to beat a gauntlet match next episode on EWE. So make sure you stay tuned for that. This match begins. These two locking eyes. Tyler already made his mark in EWE. Knight definitely made his mark in FWE. And Tyler cut catches Knight out after he misses a punch. And just taunts him, saying he's scared. All oh, big punch straight to the eye. And now getting the crowd hyped and an elbow. Knight took some major damage, missing a uh, forearm. And now mimicking him, the stomp. Oh my god, just, just stealing Knight's move, his old finishing move. And clapping about it. Wait a minute. Dragon suplex. I think. Yeah, no, I, I think it was. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh. And now lifting Knight up. Tyler taking possession right back. And a knife edge chop. You could see Knight. The pain on his face. Throws him into the turnbuckle again. Really favouriting that corner right now. Oh, straight to the eye. And again. Keeping Knight in the corner. That is a good idea. Front into the turnbuckle and a bulldog. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's going to be quite hard for Knight to beat Tyler. Because obviously what we're seeing right now. But, I mean, I think he can do it. But... Well, I guess we'll have to see if he can actually pull off a miracle here tonight. And Tyler already showing off, saying that, well, he's coming home. He, he's coming in with the EWE World Championship, and he's coming out with it. Stunner on the uh, ropes and telling Knight to suck it. Setting something up. Tyler from off the road, suicide spear into Knight. Oh my god. And looks for a kick. Takes out the foot. Knight now grabbing the head, elbows to the skull. Bang. Now remember, there is no disqualification. This match can be won by pinfall or submission. I believe even maybe KO, but. Well, I mean, that's just something we need to. Look out for... Oh, shooting star press. I don't think he got all of it, though. Picking Tyler up slowly. Just trying to pick the pieces together. And a neck breaker. Knight. A moonsault. Oh, you could see him feeling his midsection. That definitely hurt him quite some bit. And now Knight trying to make a comeback here. Sling blade. Now lifting Tyler up. Tyler stunned, doesn't know where he's at. Wait a minute, signature move, Shining Wizard by Knight. And now looking to end it off early. Pedigree, pedigree to Tyler. Hooks the leg, new EWE world champion to kick out by Tyler. A two count after the pedigree. Fast pace action by Knight. And he's bringing the fight to Tyler. Thrown off. Fall away slam. Fall away slam by Tyler. Kick out at one. Are you kidding me? I swear no one's kicked out at one from the fall away slam. And punch straight to the bad eye. Off the ropes. Knight, spinning forearm, misses again. Chick kick, no, spinning forearm. 
a knight going crazy, just trying to fire himself up. And a kick to the knee. Trying to take out of the feet, because if Tyler... Well, take out the legs, because if Tyler can't run or go to the uh, top turnbuckle, then, well, he can't, he can't really hit the fallaway slam or any of his fast moves, can he? No, Tyler, fast pace offense does it. Best full away slam again. The second time. One, two. Kick out by Knight for the second time after another full away slam. And now off the ropes. Step up. Getting Knight up. Looking for the kick again. Taking out the leg. And now grabbing Tyler by the neck and the arm. Knight off the ropes. Clothesline to Tyler on the outside. Saying get up. Trying to build up some momentum on his name. Knight suicide spear into the barricades. And he's not done. He's going for it again. Knight high flying offense to the limits. Oh wait. Stops himself. Off the ropes again. Suicide spear again. Knight making sure he hits this. No, oh no, telling Tyler to get up. Tyler's stunned. He doesn't know where he's at. Oh! Sliding elbow. Just throws his floor, hand on the floor, arm on the floor. Now punches him. Wait a minute. Ripcord knee. Getting Tyler up. Lifting him. Fireman's carry. Uh oh. Wait, never mind. Never mind. Knight's got something else in plan. Knight, no. Slams Tyler onto the apron. Oh my. Knight not playing around on Tyler right now. Oh no. No. Onto the announcement table cover of that spare YouTube announcement table. And I've taken it apart. Taking the monitors off. Tyler's out of this right now. After that uh, high flying offense by Knight. Lifting him up again. Oh and slams his leg on the table. Throws him in the ring. And to the top turnbuckle. Elbow drop to the back. And see, Knight has damaged the back and the legs of Tyler. Because, well, Tyler's not doing so well. Andy is also just feeling them. And now just kicking down at the leg. And now the chest. Lifting Tyler up. And now throws him to the outside again. Big strike. Could he be? Is he looking to do this again? A minute, no. Jumps to the top town buckle. What is this? Oh, just splashes onto Tyler. And now lifting him up. Tyler is just out of this. Big knee, sending him flying. Tyler getting lifted up. No, roll through. School, schoolboy super kick. And again lifting him up. And a power slam. Tyler getting, well, getting his clock cleaned. Thrown. And a step up Superman punch. Resting on the barricade, trying to get back into this. He might have underestimated Knight. And telling them to suck it. Going to the top turnbuckle now. Tyler looking to fly. Oh, drop kick right into the barricade. Look at Knight's leg. And now he's going to take him. Power bomb. And wait a minute. Tyler slams him down. Again, quick offense. 
throws Knight into the ring. And a strike. And a boot. Big fight feel from these two at this current time. Knight caught out with a strike. Wait a minute, elbows. Trying to get out of there. Wait a minute, Knight. From out of nowhere. No way. Pedigree. Hooks the leg. One. Two. Kick out Tyler somehow. And Knight's getting frustrated. How did Tyler just kick out of the pedigree? After everything that he's done. Uh, that Knight's done. And uh-oh. Mixing stairs into the mix. Oh, oh. Tyler getting up. Knight grabbing a chair, Tyler. Suicide spear again. On tonight. Uh, I'm not sure if there is disqualification or not. Wait a minute, Knight. I think he's busted open. I'm not sure. It's good signs for Tyler. Oh, look. I, I can't tell if that's a spine buster or not. Either way, it was on that metal part. And he's looking to do it again. Oh. And now... Knight's down, Tyler taking the leg, what is this, Tyler in a submission, putting Knight into a submission, falls count anywhere match by the way, pinfalls and submissions can be counted anywhere, and this is straight on the metal, look how painful this is, fans chanting tap, and Knight twisting around somehow, and reverses it, look at the blood, oh, insecurity. Look at the blood dripping down Knight's face. This is kind of painful to watch. And a dancing leg drop. And that slams his arm on it. Knight looks out of it. No, 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 just throws him using that metal to the advantage. No, 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 Tyler, don't do this. The stomp onto the metal. Oh my god. Hooks the leg. One, two. Oh, kick out. And Knight and Tyler's saying, come on. Come on, just count. I'm not doing your job properly. Not Tyler can't believe it. I can't believe that Knight survived for that this long. With the amount of damage that has been done to him. Don just slams his head onto. The metal and a knee. Knight is being done. Oh. Big forearm. Wait a minute, Knight. Suplex on the metal. This has got to be the biggest challenge for Tyler, Tyler yet. I can't even speak. There's so much action right now. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. I believe that was a Falcon Arrow. And Knight gaining control. I'm not sure how, but he is. And then steps still in the ring. And Knight, shining wizard, finishing move to Tyler. Now looking for a boot. Insecurity. Knight uh, got his leg caught. Spinning forearm misses. Fall away slam. Fall away slam. Finishing move, Tyler. One, two. Kick out again. Knight, Tyler, kicking out of each other's finishes like their normal moves. Lifting up Knight. Knight struggling, not going to let him lift him up. Knight with a big boot. Looking to lift up Tyler. Tyler lifted up. Somehow, kind of pretty easily. Power bomb on the steps. And Knight saying, I'm going to be your second and new EWE World Champion. Pushing him off the ropes. And a neck breaker. Gets out of it. Tyler shouting. Knight saying, bring it on, big clothesline. Another one. And an enteguri. Tyler taking this to all different means to win here tonight. And now setting up for his sister Abigail. Will it hit? Stalking. Spider walk to Knight. 
Night Court. Sister Abigail. Lifting Knight up. Big kick. Off the ropes. Wait a minute, bumps into him. Kick, chick, kick. Tyler's just saying, get away from me. This truly has been a fight to remember. Setting him up. Knight gets out of it. Saying that, saying something to Tyler and throws him down. Tyler to the top. Uh oh. Elbow drop. Tyler, Knight. Whoever wins here deserves it to the most. Tyler off the ropes. Full away slam again. That's got to be like the fourth one. One, two, three. Tyler retains the championship in extreme. It took at least five full away slams to put Nate away. I don't think he was expecting it. Tyler holding the title, asking how the hell has he survived with it? He came in with the CCW Championship on his waist. He came out lifting and retaining the WWE World Championship. That was defense. Tyler is about to leave the arena. Am I aiming it? Oh no. Super groups there. Knight's in the middle of the ring. Oh gosh. Knight recovers from that beat down. Wait a minute, Super! What the hell? What that you need to his former tag partner?